Welcome to Quads World. Today you'll learn how you can upload files in Kodi Initer using file uploading class. For your better understand we'll demonstrate the file upload with an example. In this example, we'll upload the user picture to the server and insert the user data to the database. Before start to writing the code, create a users table into the database with some basic fields. Users table will be used for inserting the user data. We'll add seven fields for storing user information. The basic fields are ID, name, email, picture, created, modified, and status. users table was created successfully with seven basic fields. Now go to the application directory of your Kodia Nutter project. Enter into the config directory. Open the autolo.php file on code editor. Add database and session into the library array or loading these libraries automatically. Also, add URL into the helper array or loading this helper automatically. Save this file and go back to the application directory. Enter into the controllers folder. Create a file called users.php and open it in the code editor. Write the code for users controller. Here you can see we loaded the user model in constructor function for using the user model. Initially, add function will load the user adding form. When the form is submitted, the image file would be uploaded and data would be inserted into the database via user model. At first, we check whether the picture field is empty or not. Now we'll define some required configuration like upload path, allow types and file name. Configuration options need to be passed at the time of loading the upload library. Call the do underscore upload function from the upload library and provide the field name into it. If the upload is successful then we could get the uploaded file name from the uploaded file information. 
picture variable holds the uploaded file name. User data variable holds the user data and sends it to the user model for insert into the database. Based on the insertion status set the status message into the flash data. Now go back to the application directory and enter into the model directory. Create a file called user.php and open it in the code editor. Write the code for user model. Here the insert function is used to insert the provided data into the user's table. Based on the insert this function returns the insert ID or false. Now go back to the application directory and enter into the views directory. Create a folder named users and also create a file called add.php into the this directory. Open the add.php file in the code editor. At first print the flash data for picture upload and data adding notification. Write form HTML code. This form contains picture file input field, name text input field, email text input field, and a submit button. Now go back to the users directory and enter the root directory. Now create the uploads directory at the root of project folder and create image directory inside the newly created uploads directory. Go to the browser and enter the URL for accessing the add method of user's controller. File uploading form is displayed. Choose an image file, enter the other details and click on the add button. The image file is uploaded and the status message is showing.
to check whether the data is inserted into the database. We'll go to the database. Yes, the data is inserted with image file name and other details. Now we'll check whether the image file is uploaded or not. We'll go to the images directory. Wow, the image file is uploaded. We hope you have understood the file upload process in Kodi Initer. You can visit our website www.codedigsworld.com for more tutorials and download the source code. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.